good morning so I'm now heading out on my first trip in Canada as a Canadian citizen I don't know if you've seen the the uh, citizenship video yet I will be putting that up if it's not already up I uh, just haven't got around to editing it yet but yesterday we had an online ceremony at home to become Canadian citizens so as a result of that I'm now stuck in Canada till I get my Canadian passport which should only take a week or two but we're uh, today we're going to Le Duc, Alberta and Pendles have actually sorted this trip out for me so I get to see my youngest son Craig as well who's stationed over in Edmonton Le Duc is just south of Edmonton so I'm going to get a chance to see him probably tomorrow night so today 15th of November it is 25 past 10 and it is one degree Celsius so let's get it done Thursday morning and I'm not in Alberta yet I'm still in Saskatchewan but I will be in Alberta in about an hour's time so the plan today is go and drop this loaded trailer at the customer they've got an empty there pick up the empty and that's me done for the day because I've made arrangements to go and meet my youngest son Craig who's stationed over here in Edmonton so when he's done for the day today he's going to come out and meet me well hopefully his wife as well I want to see them both so that's the plan for today dispatch I'm going to dispatch me until tomorrow morning so it gives me the day off so I can go and visit them we'll go out and have something to eat tonight a bit of catching up to do so yeah didn't start until later yesterday and um, we're still feeling good last night so we put pretty much well we didn't put a full day in but we put a good day in I didn't finish until half nine last night got, th got virtually a thousand kilometers in so I made it a lot easier today so I'll be finished for about one o'clock today Parked up in the truck stop, I'll go and get a shower and Craig thinks he'll be, he should be done for about 4 o'clock so not too bad at all looking forward to it got some catching up to do be back later coming into Lloydminster now Lloydminster oh, it's a town that's grown up around the, the oil industry does it? As you come into Lloydminster from from the east, there's actually a big refinery. I think it's Husky Oil or whatever it's called now, so maybe. But big refinery there, the, and you can smell Lloydminster with the crude oil long before you even get here. So Lloydminster, I'm, I'm going to film actually driving through Lloydminster because it's a little bit unique in the, in the fact that uh, the, the provincial border, the provincial line runs straight through the middle of the town so half the town is on the Alberta side and the other half is on the Saskatchewan side now 
for those back in the UK and in Europe, that, no, that might not sound like an awful lot, but here in North America, each province and each state sets its own, its own taxes, its own rules and everything else. So to have the state line, the provincial line running through the middle of the town means that for the same products in the same named store you could be paying two different prices just because of the sales tax. But anyway, enough of my rambling about it. I just find it a bit unique that you know you can jump from one side of the town to the other and and be paying different taxes depending on where you live or work. So I'll leave the camera rolling while I drive through here. just south of Edmonton now, only six kilometres from where I'm switching trailers. So, had a cracking run over here. We've already done, let's have a look, 1,397 kilometres since leaving yesterday morning. So not a bad effort. Once I've switched trailers, I'm just going to head up to back up to Edmonton, about half an hour up to the other side of Edmonton, uh, up to the truck stop, get a shower, get some fuel, and I'm just going to stay there the, the night, get Craig to come out and meet me there. So, we'll be finished in... Exit right. Well, we'll be parked up anyway in an hour. So, not bad. It's only 25 to 12 now. Warming up a little bit. I did have minus 9 this morning, just after I started. But it's now up to 4 degrees. So, not a bad morning. I've never been to this place, so I have to keep an eye on where I'm going. In one kilometer, turn left.
a whole lot of room at these roadworks. Now this area isn't new to me, but the, the delivery is. And I know this whole area quite well, just never been to this delivery. This area is actually called, it's not Edmonton, this is called Leduc around here or Nisku. I don't, one just seems to run into the other, but it's south of Edmonton just where the airport is. In 500 meters, turn left. Right, so this is me turning onto the street. I think where, Turn left. where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, there's a sign at the end of this street, Leduc Business Park. In 900 meters, turn left. Okay, so I'm not on the street that I want. It must be a pretty new building where I'm going because it's it's not even on Google Maps. It's not on the sat nav and it's not on Google Maps. The pinpoint on Google Maps shows it being in the middle of a field. So it must be pretty new. In 400 meters, turn left. Lots and lots of industry around here set up for the the oil and trade, the oil industry. I'm not sure it's going to be around there to be honest. Arriving at destination on right. No, no it's not. Proceed to highlighted route. Turn left. Alright guys, I'm going to 
have to have a look at things again. So I'll be back later. It's now Friday morning and I had the afternoon off yesterday and the evening off and went and seen, well, Craig and Jesse came down and picked me up and took me back up to the, <coughs> took me back up to the camp, showed me around the camp, seen where they lived and then uh, we came back down here and had some teachers down the road there. So I had a great evening last night, but I got told yesterday that I wouldn't get a load offer until this morning, so there was no rush getting up this morning. It's now, it's 20 past 8 here, 20 past 9 back at head office, so we'll be chasing it up in a minute, see if they've got anything for me, and then we can get on with our day's work, see where we're going from here. So, while I'm sitting here doing nothing, I'm just going to do a bit of a time lapse of the, just the comings and goings in the truck stop. Something a little different. And I'll be back later. I back out of Edmonton this afternoon and this is going straight back to Steinbach. So, still got a long way to go and won't be home until late afternoon tomorrow. I'm in two minds whether to see if I can leave again. Today's Friday, uh, today's Thursday, no, today's Friday. And I'm not sure whether to leave again, get home tomorrow, Saturday, leave again on Sunday. Because I've got plenty of driving hours left. And we haven't received the email, we haven't received our citizenship certificate yet. So I still can't apply for our passports. So I'm thinking of just keeping going just now in Canada. Because if I sit at home for a day and then leave again, we're not going to receive the certificates at the weekend. It could come early next week when I've just left on another trip. So I'm thinking of uh, having a night at home and then leaving right away again. But I don't know, I haven't decided that yet. I haven't sent in my message to make myself available. I'll have to do that soon. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, and I'll be back tomorrow. See you in the morning, guys. Beautiful skies this morning. 
at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a uh, little bit cooler, we've got minus 3 degrees Celsius. But no sign of any snow in that sky, is there? So I'm hoping to be back in the yard for about half three. So I'll be home for four o'clock. And yesterday I was saying I didn't know whether to make myself available to leave right away again or have a day off. So I've decided I've made myself available for Sunday if there is anything. So we'll find out this afternoon when we get back what we're going to be doing. Plan of attack for today uh, is flat out all day. And let's get home. But it really is a beautiful morning. We're, we are going to be blinded by that sun when it does come up over the horizon there. We'll be driving straight into it. But it could be worse, we could be driving straight into a snowstorm. And we're not. Not yet anyway. Be back later. This is nearly at the end of this trip. We've only got 15 miles back to the yard now. So certainly been a little bit different, being in Canada only and getting over to Edmonton, see Craig and JC. Been a good trip. The weather's been pretty good. We had some snow over here um, the day after I left I think it was, so Thursday. Uh, they got some snow as far west as Brandon that I know of and probably further west than that over this over to the Saskatchewan line, but I didn't see any of it. The roads have been dry for the, well this is day four, for the whole four days I've been out. So it's been pretty good. It's actually six degrees here today at ten past three in the afternoon. Not bad for, uh, well, the third week in November now, are we? Yeah. So that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. All that's left for me to do is to say thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio for now.